Now, we will talk about very, very important topic in AMC exam. Please take care of this. SLE and the pregnancy. Now, what is the risk of SLE in case of a pregnancy? The risk will be, it will lead to recurrent abortion, mostly in the second trimester. Okay, so it will lead to recurrent abortion, mostly in the second trimester. Now, what are the antibodies that cause SLA? And what are the risk in case of a pregnancy? We have two categories. The first one will be antiphospholipid and anticardiolipine antibody. And these two antibodies will lead to thrombosis of a placenta and lead to abortion due to ischemia. Okay. So to prevent that and to treat this patient, you will need to give the patient low dose aspirin and low dose heparin during pregnancy, especially low molecular weight heparin. Okay? The second categories will be anti rho and anti la. And these two antibodies are responsible for fetal heart block. I mean less than 60 beat per minute. And how you can differentiate this fetal heart block due to SLA and due to anti rho and anti la, not other cause? Well, that's simple. The keyword for this is that the fetal heart is low and it's not respond to atrophy. So if you have a case scenario saying that a fetus born to a mother with a pulse rate less than 60 beat per minute and you give this child or this fetus atropine and still the pulse rate not responding and the heart not responding. What is the cause? It's directly anti rho and anti la. Okay? So that's very important. That's all what you need to know about SLA for AMC MCQ exam. For full course, you can contact us through amcqbook at gmail.com. Thanks and goodbye.